Hey there, Ramble Force. Chris Gamble here from the Digital Ramble, another episode, and I'm joined as always by JJ Cannon in Houston, Texas. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. How are you, Chris Gamble? Such an exciting episode that we're getting ready to get into. We have Andrew from Ring on today's show. Ring is one of the Fab Five for, for JJ and I, definite firm fixture in smart home installations around the globe. And we're lucky to be joined again, returning guest here by Andrew, the general manager for installed solutions over at Ring. Yeah, we're going to be talking about the new Ring X line. We're going to be also talking about their new partnership with Ring and Lutron, as well as he's got some really cool tips and some things that Ring owners might want to look into as well. So definitely stay tuned to this episode. Yeah, so we go deep into, into the Ring products. We get a little bit of the origin story, hear a little bit of background on, on Andrew's career to date, and then we dive into the products, the X-Line range, which is exciting to see it now in the US and the UK. It's yeah. just launching in the UK, 30th of September. Uh, Customize my business. We're, we're excited to to be involved with that. So we're looking forward to get our hands on those products. And then we talk about this integration with another of the Fab Five, your Ring devices, integrating with your Lutron lighting system. Yeah, absolutely. And those that are new to the show, thank you for tuning in to the Digital Ramble. I'm JJ Cannon, CEO of Digital Delight. You can find out more about me at digitaldelight.com. And I'm JJ's co-host in the UK, Chris Gamble from Customized. We're based in the east of England, and you can catch up with us on all social media platforms and over at our website, customized.uk.com. Yeah, we've been doing this for two years now, and so we got a string of fantastic episodes that explains all of our Keeping It Reels uh, <laughs> and all of the other kind of cool episodes that we've got going on. You can find those at digitalrambleshow.com. We're on 11 podcast streaming services. You can also find us on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. Just dial us up, the Digital Ramble. We're going to pop up for you. you you can't miss us. You know, there's a couple of episodes that we've done that, that focus on Ring. Obviously, there's the, the, the interview we did with Andrew this time nearly a year ago, or just over a year ago. And there's also specific episodes about Ring, their, their cameras, their doorbells, their alarm systems. And, you know, we talk about them in the episode. But just before we go into that, just a couple of notes. We do talk about some features that are US only not available in the UK, or there's some variations on what's available in the UK. So like with the X-Line product, slightly longer warranty in the UK, 30 day recording instead of 60 days in the UK. And then on the alarm products, the monitoring options are, are different in the UK. So just be aware that because we've got a wide audience, we, we're talking sometimes US, sometimes UK, sometimes global features of these products. All right, Gamble, I'm ready to get into this episode. Push that butt. Andrew, how are you, my good friend? Wonderful to see you again. Welcome to the Digital Ramble. How have you been? I'm doing all right, JJ. How you been, man? It's been, uh, it's been a year, a little over a year since I last saw you, and man, so much has changed in that time frame, but it's, uh, it's great to see you guys again. Yeah, it's nearly been a, a, a whole year because we did a show with you just before Cedia Expo last year and we've just all been part of Cedia Virtual Expo. Uh, so yeah, thanks for coming back on and our, our audience will be excited to have yourself and Ring back on because it's one of our highest viewed and listened episodes. Well, that, that's great, Chris. Good to see you too. And uh, I'm, I'm, it's a year since I last saw you and I'm about a year and two months at Ring now. So it's a uh, it's gone by like a, a blink of an eye. I'm having so much fun, though. So uh, it's great to see you guys again. You know, Andrew, for those that have maybe been living under a rock and don't know Ring, could you please uh, enlighten them about what Ring is about? How did it get started? Why is it so popular with, uh, with security and communication and bringing neighborhoods together? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Ring's founding and its roots, you know, started with, with Jamie Siminoff, uh, you know, who started the company, who still runs Ring to this day. Um, and he was really trying to solve just a, uh, a simple problem. You know, he was working out of his garage and tinkering with the next big thing. And he would always get parts and pieces delivered to his house. 
uh, never knew who was there. He would miss the signatures and it was just becoming a, a problem for him and looked around and saw that nobody had created uh, any sort of interface at the door or, or a video doorbell and kind of had that aha moment uh, and, and created the, uh, what was uh, DoorBot. Uh, if you've ever seen the, uh, the Shark Tank video and, and has then turned into Ring. And I think it's uh, the greatest part about the product is it, for those of you that don't know what it is, is it just allows you to uh, interact with people at your front door, see who's at your house, get alerts, be able to talk to people, um, has a great sense of security to it as well too, knowing who's coming and going from your house, uh, being able to talk to people when you're not home uh, that are at your house. And, and, you know, and then beyond that, we've expanded beyond the doorbell and have gone into cameras and sensors and alarm and uh, all these other pieces that just always stay true to, to our mission of, of uh, you know, making neighborhoods safer. And, and it's a great company to be part of because it's a very rewarding place to work. Uh, and you can see it in, in any video you've ever watched of customers being delighted with the product. So, uh, so we're still true to that mission today. Tell us, Andrew, you're, you've just been there just over a year at Ring. Tell us your background in the industry, because some would call you a veteran. Sometimes that's not a <laughs> kind term, but you've been in this game a long time. You've known JJ and I many years. So tell us your background and how you ended up there as the general manager at Ring. Yeah, so I, uh, my role at Ring today is uh, GM over uh, our installed solutions business unit. So I oversee the global strategy and execution for how we go to market through all of our pro install verticals around the world. So, you know, everything from the CDA or custom installer all the way to electrician and HVAC and security pros, and then home builders and developers as well too. Um, and I really have carved out a niche for myself in doing this uh, prior to, to coming to Ring. I spent 10 years at Sonos, uh, about 80% of the time there working on the exact same thing and trying to figure out how to, uh, uh, how to bring DIY products or brand recognizes DIY into these pro install verticals uh, and, and really, uh, you know, start to address what we call this do it for me customer. It's this customer that really wants, uh, they don't know what they need. They don't know what they want. They just know they, they've heard of Ring uh, and, and they need somebody to recommend solutions for them. So, um, so that brings you back to prior to Ring. And, but I've been in consumer electronics since I was 15 years old. I've never worked in any other industry. I'm a tech nerd. I'm always tinkering with stuff. I'm trying to you know, use technology to make my personal life better at home. And I've just always done that for as long as I can remember. Uh, and I've been an audiophile nut since I was you know, probably eight or nine years old as well, too. So just if I, I don't look, look at what I do as a job because it's fun. I wake up every day and I get to play with technology and talk to people about technology. And now I get to impact people's lives by making them feel safer. So it's a, I'm having a blast, man. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> yeah, Andrew. I mean, I think everybody in our industry kind of has that same type of audiophile excitement, you know, of being in our industry, trying to find solutions through technology to, to help improve, you know, things around their house or maybe for their business. Uh, and, you know, Ring has really brought it to the pro channel over the past 12 months. I mean, y'all have really started stirring the pot of what Ring can really, really do. I mean, uh, broadening that, that vision of what Jamie originally had. And, and y'all recently, I don't know, probably the last six, seven months, um, have released something called the Ring X line. Can you extrapolate on that and tell our listeners what is so special about this Ring X line? Because it's, it's super cool. Yeah, I mean, I think like really at Amazon, everything is working backwards from the customer. So you really start at what the customer problem is or what are you trying to solve for for the customer? Um, and that's really, you know, a year ago, Jamie and I sat down and kind of thought about this channel and, you know, what were we missing? What did we need to do? You know, how, how were dealers interacting with customers? Um, and then what are those customers, you know, what were their pain points? And, you know, really what we started to realize is we started to talk to dealers and customers and distributors and different partners was there's this, you know, you, you guys don't view it as underserved, but, but in larger tech companies, you, you view it as underserved, which is that, that customer that wants somebody that can recommend the product, install the product, show them how to use it, and then service it on the back end if there's you know, I want to, hey, I want to add another camera, you know, on the other corner of my house that I didn't do at the initial time. And you become the trusted, you know, person for that customer. And so we wanted to start to create products and solutions, software and hardware around that in mind. 
um, to go deeper with the installer to make sure that we were doing the right things for them. And so I think that's a lot of what you've seen that, that we've announced or we've shown over the past six or seven months. Uh, and for us, one of the first things was this X line uh, line of products. And this is an exclusively available products only available through the pro installer uh, verticals uh, starting in, in us and then moving into the UK. Now I'm happy to say we'll be shipping those products uh, starting next week to dealers. And so now our, our UK customer base would be able to experience the same benefits. And so the X line, what's really rooted in is, is, uh, one is is an extended warranty for the products. You know, we know a pro is going to install it. So we know the pro, ha number one, has the right product for the situation. But then number two, are trained to be able to install the product. So all of our X-Line dealers go through our own uh, certification program uh, to really go in depth on, um, on, on different aspects of it, different setup points. Uh, you know, how, how do you configure it the right way? And, and I believe both of you guys are, are have passed the certification or in the process of it as well too, right? JJ has completed it. Um, I think you were one of the first in your region, JJ, and, and I'm in the process of doing it because it's, it's just arriving in the UK. So we're getting up to speed ready for that, for the arrival of the product. Yeah, great. It's, and then, so, so that's, that's the one piece is, is that it, it's got a, a longer warranty than our standard warranty. And then number two, it includes lifetime cloud storage of our videos. So the, the client, there's, there's two things for that. One is, you know, as, as install pros are setting up products, it's, um, we think it's a bad customer experience for you to either number one, ask them for their credit card for all these different services that, that payments have to go back to the manufacturer. Uh, you know, also in COVID times too, you know, taking their phone and having to, you know, authorize payment or, you know, go check your email and make sure that you got the, you know, we just think that there's, that's a lot of, um, friction for our pro installer space where you know, you're not just putting ring into somebody else's somebody's home, you're putting in four or five other products. And if we can reduce that friction with you and, and the customer, we think that's fantastic. And then number two, for the, for the customer, the customer never has to worry about, you know, uh, when a credit card expires or they, you know, uh, that credit card, you know, they get a new one and, and have to mess around with payment and everything. And we just think it's an easier, more frictionless way for, for customers to be able to do it. So, uh, you know, lifetime video cloud recording is included with all these products as well, too. So, uh, and, and, you know, the prices and, and the availability, like I said, in, in the U.S., uh, you know, we've launched and everything is up and running. Uh, in, in the U.K., the pricing, uh, I, just to give you a couple examples, so on the Ring Video Doorbell 3 Plus, uh, it's 299 pounds in the UK, uh, 379 uh, in the US. The, the Ring Video Doorbell Pro X, which is probably our more popular product, I'd say, uh, is 329 pounds uh, in the UK and 399 US dollars as well, too. So um, you pay a little bit of a premium over our regular core products, but we think the value that the, the customer gets is, is pretty massive. Oh, for, for sure. There's, there's great value. That recording alone, um, that peace of mind that, you know, all the benefits you talked about. But one thing that stuck with me was one of like the first sentence you said was this reverse engineering from the customer. And mm -hmm. that, that resonates a lot with JJ and I. It's, it's something that we've done as business owners over the years, you know, constantly evolving our, our service. And it's great to hear of a company like Ring with a huge DIY fan base, heritage, loyal customer base, but thinking about the reverse engineering for the pro channel, and that's so refreshing to, to, to hear that, and that should make choosing Ring for your installation business a, a big part of it. This, this has been tailored for our channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, it's, and, and if you think about it, you always start with the customer, but when you work backwards with the pro installer space, you have to pass through the dealer as you work mm. backwards. That's the next line. And so you always design for the customer needs and, and what the customer wants out of the product. Then you have to think about that next step. And in a lot of cases with a pro installer with this do it for me market, they're taking the, the customer through the marketing funnel. It's not a lot of uh, the manufacturer, you know, bringing the customer through the marketing funnel. We might have touch points along the way, but they're, they're seeking out, you know, you guys for, that expertise and that 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 education and what works, what doesn't work, how does it all work together? And so, you know, whether you realize it or not, you're, you're actually bringing that customer through a traditional marketing funnel. Um, and, and we think we just got to think about it in that context for, for what we offer 
and how we bring it to market through these pro installer uh, throughout the world. So Andrew and Andrew with uh, Ring is joining us today and it is not only their video doorbell selection that is part of the Ring X line. It's also like their uh, the spotlight cameras, the floodlight cameras, and they are all covered under a three-year warranty. They all have the uh, ability to have 60 days worth of continuous recording. Uh, you can also extract those videos and, and save them and share them or do snapshot captures. Is that, is that correct? It is, yeah. Just exactly what you said, but just one caveat. In the UK, it's a it's a four year warranty versus a three year. There, like nuances, region <laughs> to region. So, our for our friend Gamble, there was going to get a little bit longer time on that. But uh, uh, and we'll make sure we you know we make sure everybody's fully educated. It's on because we're better, the better installers in the UK, I think uh, it is. It's, yeah. uh, <laughs> More, more challenging environments is what I'll say. Not every house is like a uh, Dallas, Texas home throughout the world. So yeah, we've got maybe, castles here. <laughs> yeah, castles. So yeah, JJ, to your point though, it's yeah. I mean, everything starts with the doorbell with us as a company. But um, you know, uh, Gamble and I were catching up before, and it, you know, we have our POE products as well. So one of my favorite products that we have is our Stick Up Cam Elite X, uh, which is a POE driven camera. So. Um, you know, it's just so much easier to get it into different spaces around the home where you don't have to run line voltage. Uh, you know, in the U.S., we get shocked a little bit, but in the U.K., with their line voltage, that, that could really rattle you pretty good if you, uh, you don't know what you're doing. And so uh, being able to run POE around the house, you know, uh, Cat 6, Cat 5 E cable is just so available and easy to run. And, um, you know, so I think that that's one of our more favorite and popular products for, for the line as well, too. Uh, and then we also have another one that my personal favorite is our, our Ring Floodlight Cam X, uh, which looks just like a floodlight like you have on the side of your house, but has a camera built into it, siren as well, uh, and then very bright LED bulbs as well, too. So, uh, and everything can work in harmony with each other. And this goes across all the Ring product. You know, your floodlight cam uh, or your doorbell, you know, senses motion on it in front of your house. It can start recording on other cameras. It can turn on lights on other cameras. And so everything's made to work together in harmony. And it's very easy for the customer, once everything's set up, to be able to switch back and forth and to, to interact with it the way that they want. Uh, but I think this is where, like, again, the pro can go a little bit deeper because the speed to be able to do all of that and uh, being able to configure it, set it up, uh, you know, use some of those, I call them, like, more advanced features, but stuff that's not, you know, on the surface in the menu. And you got to click into settings a little bit further. Um, you know, that's the, the pro is going to make sure you're maximizing everything that you're paying for that product because they're going to be able to go in and do all the little nuanced stuff that really takes the experience to the next level, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I will say in the, the initial, after the initial setup, there, there are quite a lot of settings for the customer to get used to within the cameras and the doorbells and specifically around motion detection, the, the alerts, the home and away mode, these kind of things. I know that my customers value that handover where we go through each icon in the app, excellently laid out app, very simple to use, but they're paying for that, which is relatively a short amount of time just to go through the app. And that is the, the peace of mind and the confidence and, and the, the, the expertise they're paying for. Yes, there's the installation and you've got all the tools and you've got ladders and all these kind of things, but to then spend some time at the end and make sure they're truly confident with it, um, that that is the benefit of the, the pro install for me. Yeah, I think that that's you, you know it's it's I, I, I told I've told the story before, but you know with Sony TVs, you know you can say and, and a Ring doorbell, uh, an Alexa dot or or a Echo Show, you can say you know, Alexa, show me the front door, and my Sony TV turns on and will flip to my Ring Video Doorbell Pro X up on the screen, and so now I have a seventy-seven inch view of my front door through the TV and, and, you know, two very historically DIY brands, Sony and Ring and, and Alexa, but I never realized that all of that could work together and that you could do that. Um, and, and, and I watched the installer do it in my house and it was pretty simple, but again, he had the awareness and to know to sit there and say, okay, he's got a Sony TV, he's got an Echo Dot right here and he's got the Ring doorbell. Like, let me just do this for him. And mm. it, it becomes one of those things that it's not, it takes, you know, installer five minutes to do all of that. But the, the experience value jumps up, you know, exponentially with that. And so, uh, you know, again, I, I can't speak enough about, you know, the value, like you said, of, of 
you know, setting up, doing all the nuanced stuff, but then showing, you know, the, the customer how to interact with it. It's fantastic. Yeah, that's one thing that, that Gamble and I, we try to drill is if you don't know, find a home tech pro. And a lot of the times, most of the times, you're going to get a home technology professional in your house that does have this awareness of what all you can do with these technologies. Um, and, and sometimes for me, whenever I'm called out to a client's house, it's, it's to do one thing, but we can actually uh, expand upon that one thing because they might already have devices in their home that can be added on to that, to that simple experience that they're expecting and really provide a really deep wow to the, to the entire experience. And um, a lot of the times they have devices and don't even realize how you can get these guys to, to function together. You know, and, and talking about that, you know, there, there's also been something just, uh, what I think is, is just fantastic. Uh, Ring not only creates products inside their own branding, but Ring also embraces and works with other manufacturers. And here recently, like within the past couple of weeks, Ring announced that they are, are working with one of the, you know, top lighting control companies, which, which is Lutron. Yeah. I mean, I think this is like, this is probably one of the more exciting reasons why I, I uh, you know, wanted to come on the show and, and was excited to talk to you guys. Cause I know you're at your embracement and um, you know, I'm a huge fanboy of Lutron as well too. I, I've known the company and the, the leadership team there for a while. And I mean, the, you just talk about a product that just works. I mean, it, that's to me is the, the biggest thing around technology. If my family gets frustrated with using something, it, it's dead on arrival at my house. And, and so Lutron has just always been a staple uh, for me uh, in functionality. And so, you know, Lutron's the leader, global leader in lighting and shade control technology. So when we were, again, thinking about, you know, who do we need to work with? What do we need to develop? Um, and this really anchors into our partnership uh, pillar for, for what we're doing for the pro channel space is, is we have to be able to work with companies that we can jointly, along with Alexa, bring unique use case scenarios to, to customers and, and, and delight them. Uh, and, and I think really when you think about lighting, lighting is an extension of a security product. A well-lit home is a safe home. And so uh, also a well-lit home is a, is a welcoming home as well, too. So on the security aspect of it, the partnership with Lutron, if any of your ring doorbells, uh, including the X-Line Sense Motion, you can uh, set up so that Lutron lights will turn on. So as a perfect example, in my, my driveway, I have a long driveway in front of my house. I have a ring stick-up cam Elite X halfway down my driveway, and all my landscape lighting runs off of Lutron. And so as a car comes up in my driveway after six o'clock at night, uh, camera senses motion and it tells Lutron, hey Lutron, turn on the landscape lighting and all the landscape lighting comes on in my house. So if it's somebody that's not supposed to be on my property, it kind of gives that sense of, hey, somebody's home and this is a well-lit home. And then for you know people like my family or my parents that come over, it's a more welcoming drive up to the front of my house you know, through that. So um, that, that's the one use case. So any motion, you know, within the ring, uh, system can, can turn on lights on the Lutron side and then number two button presses. So if, um, somebody comes up to my house and presses my ring video doorbell pro X, uh, the, the button on the doorbell, my porch lights can come on up above too. So I think again, that gives like a little more tailored experience. Uh, if, you know, if you don't want to, or, or aren't doing more landscape lighting, everybody has a porch light, I feel like. So, uh, you know, that's the use case scenario there uh, for that as well, too. So I uh, had to work with the Lutron Caseta line and the Raw 2 Select line as well, too, at launch. Um, and we think this is a long-term partnership with them. I think there's so many things that we could do that would be cool and interesting uh, to customers and dealers that uh, I'm just happy to, to, to get moving with them because they're, they're a fantastic company. Um, and, and, uh, yeah, and this will be available. So you'll start to, this will be a customer update, uh, all customers that have this starting September 30th, uh, via the Lutron app. So you'll set up, uh, all of the scenes with the lighting interaction with the, with the ring motion or button press all within the Lutron app. Uh, and so this goes live September 30th. So to your point a second ago, you know, installer comes in your house and again, they see a echo product and Lutron lighting now. Um, very easily they'll be able to, to integrate all three and bring some, some really cool use case scenarios to, to market. So. Yeah, this is really exciting. And it's exciting also because 
there's no there's no new purchases here if you are an existing ring customer and you have all the way back even to the generation one doorbells because i've been beta testing it with uh, video doorbell one at my home no need to replace it it's still working and it's been triggering my entry hallway lights my porch lights when a button press motion detected it's been triggering my uh, floodlight over the driveway and then inside my garage where i store some some equipment uh, for my business i've got the elite stick up cam and it's been triggering the inside and outside lights of, of the garage based on motion and that integration as much as we always say needs a pro this is something that if you're a Lutron Caseta or Ratu Select customer, look for this update. This is simple. This has not been made to confuse you or trigger another call out to a pro. This is a, an integration that you can do yourself and we highly encourage you to, to look for that option now in your Lutron app because it's done via the Lutron app. Is that correct, Andrew? It, it, is, it is. So you'll see in, in, the, in the settings pane of Lutron, uh, you, you'll see ring integration listed there and you just click on it and it'll It'll auto recognize the ring stuff that's uh, that's in the home uh, through auth authenticating through the ring uh, through the ring apps. So you have to put in your ring credentials within the Lutron app, and then it'll pull in all the compatible devices. And the nice part I like how Lutron designed it is it doesn't bring in stuff that's not compatible. So it, you, know, you won't you know have grayed out areas or confused uh, to the homeowner. Um, they'll be able to do that themselves too. So it, it's it's pretty sleek how Lutron does it. Again, a testament to their to their quality as well. Um, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, uh, I, I have mentioned this once y'all uh, made the announcements. I've, I've mentioned it in some of my consultations, and the clients are really uh, receptive about this integration, particularly about security. You know, and, and you can set it up to where a motion light on one side of the house actually activates some Eve lights around the entire property. Uh, it's not necessarily just uh, sectioned off into that one area. You can tell any light in the in the house what you would like for it to do. Yeah, and I think, I, I mean, you know, two things of what you said there. One is, I mean, if you're thinking about a security system for your house or cameras and you're not thinking lighting, you should be because you can just, you, again, you take the sense of security and the experience and you just go much wider with it. Uh, and again, like to, to your point on the second piece is this is all, you can build this over time, right? Like, so you, you don't have to make all your buying decisions up front and map out a, you know, a huge system for your home as a homeowner. You can start with one or two or three of these pieces and build off of it, uh, as you go. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, I think lastly, it's just, um, you know, this is, uh, this is an exciting announcement with Lutron and, and there's, you know, more and others to come. And as we do things, it'll be uh backwards compatible and we'll be able to ensure that you know stuff that you have in your home will work uh you know on whatever it is that we're doing and that we bring to market uh because that's what it's about you know it's it's about making sure the customers are happy and customers aren't happy when they have to throw out some equipment or recycle it and then move on to a new set of equipment uh that's not how it should work so and and, and we're committed so that integration is huge lutron and ring uh, gets gets JJ and I excited because they're part of our core brands in our in our businesses, um, and I, I love the, the the no new investment for customers because Ring is one of that products for me that I've seen customers our first engagements with them have been a doorbell they have a pain point you know an enhancement to security or, or want to get some deliveries and even through the Ring app I tell them go look in the in the section for add device. Go to the drop down and you'll, you'll, you'll see all the other products that they have and they, they see the cameras and they think oh yeah let's add a spotlight camera because it's a great direct replacement for an existing light then they, they see oh look at the alarm look at the um the, you know a direct replacement for their intruder burglar alarm that they've probably not used much in their existing home they, they maybe have an old-fashioned alarm system the alarm has launched in the UK now, and we're starting to see a lot of traction with that as well. Just to, before we move on, because we haven't mentioned the alarm, tell us about the, the Ring Alarm, Andrew. Yeah, I mean, I think that this this product to me, uh, you know, full disclosure, I'll just I'll give you a personal example on it. I'll, I'll kind of walk you through it. 
I, you know, full transparency, I've never had a security system in my home before. I, the home prior to this and the home that I have today, I always viewed it as um, uh, expensive and, and unattainable and lots of wire running uh, and frustration. And I don't know why I ever had that, that preconceived notion to it, but I just always, always did. And, uh, um, and I moved into a new house, started working for Ring and, you know, took a hard look at the product and realized that, you know, number one, this is, uh, this is pretty simple to set up and use. And at the end of the day, the professional monitoring that Ring offers versus any other company that has professional monitoring, they all do the same thing. The police come to your home if an alarm goes off. And, and so you have all this variety of pricing for this monitoring, this monthly and everything. When it comes down to it, you know, in the U.S. for, for, for the $100 a year, uh, ring alarm goes off and the police will be at my home. And that to me, just I live on like a whole nother level of comfort with that right now. Um, and then also for, for the pro installers listening, we launched a product called the Ring Retrofit uh, Accessory, which allows you to take over an existing wired system uh, in a home. So again, my personal experience, my house that I bought was wired with the old alarm panel in the basement, these really nice um, door jam sensors that were all wired. And my wife loved them because you don't see, you know, the, the magnets or the, the modules on the actual door for the sensors. And so with the retro alarm kit for Ring, the accessory, you just hook those sensors at the panel into this kit, and now you can take advantage of all of those sensors throughout the home. So again, to your point, taking advantage of, of stuff that's already in the home. Um, but our, our back, to, back to the question, our uh, Ring alarm kit, uh, you know, we have varying uh, different bundles with it, so you can really tailor it from the start of what you have. And I really try to take, tell people, think about it in terms of number of doors or entry points in your house and that will really lead you towards you know what kit did, do you need and if you go to ring.com and see our alarm product you you can uh, you can configure it yourself to see what you need for your specific needs um, but it's a collection of sensors you know door and window sensors uh, motion sensors uh, co2 uh, and smoke listeners for your smoke alarm uh, water detection as well too or leak detection um, and it all works within uh, the the ring alarm base station and, and professionally monitoring is included for that hundred dollars. And what's fantastic for the consumer on that hundred dollars is hundred dollars per year. And that incorporates uh, any non X line cameras as well as you have too. So if, you know, uh, if you have 10 cameras, 15 cameras that, that are the non X line version, that hundred dollars a year covers you for all of those for the recording as well too. So it's a ton of value for, for, for hundred dollars a year to get professional monitoring uh, and all your video recording as well too. So, and, and the fantastic part is, is that that base station is Z-Wave as well too. So um, it'll work with third party Z-Wave devices. Uh, I actually just hooked up my pool pump, uh, which is a Z-Wave uh, uh, module I bought off of Amazon uh, that now I can schedule uh, uh, and do different things with it through the Alexa app. So it connects through the ring base station, which is Z-Wave, but through Alexa routines, I can now schedule my pool pump to come on and off at uh, different times throughout the day. So I told you I'm a nerd and I tinker with stuff. And that was one of the cool aha moments I had. <laughs> yeah, man, we're seeing a lot of door locks being coupled with, you know, part of that security package, you know, that, that ring, uh, you know, allows other devices to come in and door locks has been a huge ad for us. You know, we have a lot of homeowners that listen to this show. I mean, just a ton of homeowners. What is, uh, you know, do you have any ring tips or, you know, features that a homeowner might not be aware of? Or, you know, quite honestly, Andrew, there might be something that I'm not aware of that you, that, you know, like, hey, man, hold this button, twist this way, and shazam, the genie comes out. I don't know. You got something special that, that homeowners might really be into that, that might be overlooked? Yeah, I mean, I think probably one of the, it's a newer feature, but, but one that I've really started to enjoy in my home is really around our modes. Uh, I think Chris had mentioned earlier on, but, but what's great about modes is, is that you can set up uh, ring devices or you can interact with them differently depending upon, you know, if you're home or away or your alarm is disarmed and it'll do different recordings and you can say which cameras will record when you're home, which will record when you're away. Um, and there's somebody on my team actually gave me a great use case scenario on this where uh, they have cameras inside their home and they set it up so when they're home, those cameras don't record, uh, you know, for, for privacy reasons, for, you know, for, for their family members. But when they're away, 
those interior cameras are set to, to record motion and events and stuff. And I just think that that is like a very little tweak or, or a very little uh, nuanced feature, but really just like, it's, it's fantastic. Like, yeah, I don't need my cameras to record inside my home when I'm home. Uh, and then vice versa, you may not want your outside cameras to record while you're home uh, and only when you're away. So I think, you know, again, you can, you can customize that all through modes as well. And then I think the other part too is, is that we have a full line of, of battery run products as well too. Um, and, and, you know, a lot of people, you know, like the convenience of that. Uh, so we came out with the, the solar panels for our products as well now too. So you can use solar power to be able to, uh, to run your stick up cams or, uh, you know, your spotlight cams. And I think that that's another, again, if you can't get power to a place or it's in kind of an outhouse on your property, uh, you can put a solar panel up there and it'll be able to, to run your, your ring cameras as well too. So I think those are two things that are, that are pretty cool that, that we've come out with recently or have upgraded recently, uh, especially that modes piece as well. Yeah, so just to recap for people, we talked initially about X-Line and uh, uh, excellent warranty, three years in US, four years in the UK. You've got that lifetime recording. You've got that, um, that assurance of a pro installation. So you've got that support. You've got that follow-up. If you want to add, you can add not just X-Line products, but you can add other Ring products. Then when you want to push your smart home experience further, you can start to use the integrations that Ring has with, with Lutron. So when you start to do your lighting, Lutron's the obvious choice then because you've got the notifications, uh, sorry, the, the triggering of scenes, triggering of lights uh, from your cameras, your doorbells. So just great news for the, the homeowner, great news for the pro installer, great news for the UK. We're always, we're always waiting for these things to come and I'm, I'm excited that the, the UK is gonna get the X-Line range. I'm excited for my customers that we've already spoken about and um, We've been pushing hard the, the elite stick up cam and the, the power over ethernet using existing infrastructure that we pre-wire homes for. We pre-wire for cameras with Cat6 cable to the outside and inside locations of the building. We can use that now with Ring products, which is gonna be exciting for us in the years ahead. And then we talked about how, you know, you've got that, that support. Um, well, we, we didn't talk about it, sorry. One thing to, to close up on, on on the ring is it's the support, the support from ring. So if you're a ring customer, you've got excellent support through the app or through telephone or email or online ring supports there for their customers. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, I, I sit in our, uh, our Malvern, Pennsylvania office and we have a uh, full CS staff there. And, um, you know, I think these individuals, I listen to them on the phones and they're, they're in, they're in the weeds, right? They're troubleshooting with the customer uh, making sure that everything is up and functional. And you know, as you can imagine, a lot of, you know, tech, it, it depended upon the network in the home. And so a lot of what they're troubleshooting is, uh, is around networking. So if you don't already have a robust network in your home, or as you're thinking about upgrading technology, please make sure that, that the networking uh, product is part of, of what you're asking your pro to do or that you're doing yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we support our customers uh, fully, um, uh, our hour, our hours, uh, cover any part of the day during the week that customers would be calling in. We'd be able to be able to give them advice, be able to support them. And then for X-Line dealers specifically, uh, we have a dedicated phone number for dealers to call into uh, to get support as well too. And uh, that's just a, another level of support. You know, most of the time when a pro is going to call in, it's going to be for a very uh, difficult or challenging situation that they're in. And so we want to make sure that we support our dealer community as well too. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've tried to call in to support, and, and sometimes I ugh, hesitate to try to call in, but ring support is, is like none other, Andrew. I call in. They're very informative. They're patient. They're willing to help, and they see it through, and, and so that, that's, that, that's huge for, uh, for me as a home technology professional, but also really puts uh, – consumers and our customers at ease whenever they see that there is somebody behind you know or on the other end of the line that that's really uh caring about the solutions that that they have in their home particularly when it comes to safety and, and ease of use and you know like that modes thing man I'm, I'm gonna jump on there and start really digging into that modes thing 
you know, uh, Andrew, it's been a wonderful conversation learning, learning about ring and, you know, the, the partnerships that, it, that it's building. And before we go, you know, there's one thing that we ask all our guests and we might've asked you this on the last, last go round. I don't, I don't know, but in your home outside of ring, and we've already talked about Lutron as well. So let, let's go ahead and set those guys to the side. Is there one home tech device that it's in your house that, that you just can't live without like something that if somebody's maybe has all these goodies that we've talked about, if there's one thing that you might influence them to look at, what would that be? Yeah, I'm gonna. I did this to you last time, and I'm I'm gonna give you two, even though you only asked me for all one. Right, all right, all right. So let's my, do it. so so my my first one is uh, is our new partnership with Holovision. So we went out and partnered uh, with the one of the leading companies in in door box call box solutions for driveways and and uh, uh, you know uh, larger homes that might have gate access to them. Uh, and they create the metal housing that has maybe biometric or a keypad entry. And so we partnered with the team there and uh, created a unique module uh, of the Ring uh, Video Doorbell Elite, our POE version that goes inside of their housing. And they can customize this thing to be any color, fit, finish, match your hardware, match your Tesla color, whichever one that you want. Uh, they'll be able to do that finish for you. Um, it also is, is incorporated in our X line as well too. So you'll get uh, the lifetime video recording and, and Holovision will handle the warranty for you as well. Um, and then it also will integrate with, with uh, our Ring Access Controller Pro uh, for the U.S. So this is the device that will integrate with your gate, your drive-through motorized gate or your walk-through motorized gate. So if somebody comes up to your home and presses the, the Holovision button on the front, you'll get your alert on your Ring app. Uh, and you can choose to open the gate right from that app uh, right then and there. Uh, that product also integrates with um, uh, key delivery with Amazon as well, too. So now Amazon drivers can open your gate come up to your house, drop your package off, and then uh, close the gate on the way out, the way out as well, too. Um, and you can, you can check that out on Holovision's website. Um, they have a whole Powered by Ring section on there, and, uh, and you can go see and, and uh, you know, get whichever product that you need for your house. I've been using one in my house now for a couple months, and it's just fantastic. I mean, it just looks really, really good. So we designed that product with the, the, the homeowner in mind that's really design conscious about the, the look and outside of their home. And it looks like it, it belongs there as well. Um, so that's the one. And the second one is, is with virtual homeschooling that I'm experiencing at my house right now, uh, Alexa routines. I've, I have found a new love for Alexa routines to where I can set up all my echoes and shows and dots in my house uh, to, to announce at 8.55 in the morning, it's time to, to start school. Uh, and then also um, I turn lights on different colors based upon that routine as well too. Uh, as I'm on calls, like I'm on with you right now, there's a red light bulb outside my my bedroom here that uh, lets the kids know that daddy can't be can't be bothered right now. So uh, I had to throw in that second one because I've I've started it about a week ago, and I my house is so much more uh, harmonious uh, with with that that Alexa routines enabled. So. Well, that, that's definitely something for our audience to go and discover. Alexa routines again, probably an underused feature of of your amazon echo products go and check those out because these are things that these service providers are, are rolling out they know you're going to love them so get dug into these things geek out for an hour set up your routines and your family will enjoy them as well you know you, you just highlighted something there that's that's engaging with your family I, i'm i'm definitely going to go and try uh, changing the color on this light behind me here uh, with, a, with a routine so just to close out, we always say, if you don't know, ask a home tech pro. Tell us, Andrew, why we should be hiring a Ring Pro. Why should the homeowner be seeking out that Ring Pro for their installation of doorbells, cameras, security products? Yeah, I mean, I think this is like anybody ever wants to grab a cup of coffee and talk, you know, industry. This is one thing that I, I just can't stress enough. You know, if customers that are, you know, prefer to hire a professional installer, uh, you know, they want to seek out not just installation. Like, I, again, I, I want to stress, it's not just about the install part of it, like Chris said. It's also about ensuring that it's the right product for their scenario, that it's going to behave the right way that they, you know, expected it to behave. But then also, like, all these little connective tissue things that we've been talking about here, the door locks to the Alexa, uh, to the gate, to the phones, like, making that all work and work the right way and ensure that it meets the customer expectations um, that's really, you know, what the pro delivers. 
And then again, showing the person, the customer, how to use the product after the install is done. And then I think the key is, is that, um, you know, you're going to love this technology. I mean, we all wouldn't be doing this if we didn't, you know, believe in it and love it. So you're going to want more of it. And so when you, you know, live with it for a little bit and you understand what you, you can do with it uh, and you see how it improves your home life and, you know, you want to add something else. It's such a quick, easy phone call to your uh, home technology pro to say, hey, look, I, you know, I want to do that, that camera on the corner of my house now. Uh, when can you come out and do it? And it's just you build that relationship with your, your home technology pro to be able to service all of your needs. Uh, for me, it's like the life of the home. I mean, you just, like you said, the stuff just keeps on getting better. So, uh, so for me, that's what it's all about. And I'm, I'm a, not only do I preach that, but I also, uh, my, my wife has kind of forced me into ensuring I use home technology <laughs> pro now because we're in a new home and she won't let me mess with certain parts of it. So uh, I'm a user as well too. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, I think for, for us also, you know, if you want to be able to seek out uh, a pro as well too, uh, in the U.S., you can go to our uh, X-Line landing page there uh, and we can connect uh, the customers to, to a home technology pro uh, and we'll be launching something similar in the U.K. as well too. Andrew, thank you so much for spending time with, with us and the Digital Ramble audience. We greatly appreciate all the insight that you bring. And, uh, man, we cannot wait to, to have you back on the show because we know that Ring is continuously being creative and adding things to, to our clients' homes. So all of our listeners, you know the saying, if you don't know, well, this time's going to be a little different. Hire Ring, bro. Thank you, Andrew. So we'll just go straight into the interview. We'll do our intro later, Andrew. So we'll just go straight into the in interview. Yep. Uh, JJ, do you want to kick us off? All right, very good. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. I think that's it. Okay. Good.